This is Suresh Matondi welcoming you to another video by Epic Financial Solutions. Today we're going to embark on a series about investing wisely. Now we're going to talk about the high risk and high reward concept. While many other investments out there highlight this very well, there is a particular kind of investment that promises high rewards and it doesn't emphasize on the high risk. While equities remain one of the world's most popular form of high risk and high return investment, these can be boxed in different types of packages. And the packages that we're going to talk about today is where most of the money is lost. Today we're going to talk about the concept of a Ponzi scheme and a pyramid scheme. And these two things, they don't always appear the way they are or the way they look. And the most confusing part is anything that anyone can invest in, any asset, can fall within these two categories. Most often in the investment world, we hear of unit trusts, we hear of hedge funds, we hear of shares and many other portfolios. Those are normally clear in what they are. But a pyramid scheme or a Ponzi scheme always disguises itself as a legitimate investment opportunity. Now a Ponzi scheme is a system where an individual sets up an investment and the sole purpose of this investment is to amass money and when they collect this money from the initial investors they then use that as a leverage to encourage the initial investors to go and find other investors and once new investors come and bring money the money is used to pay first the owner it pays the people who are the, the recruiters or people who are already within the system and then the balance stays in the fund for a while. And as the system grows, everyone who joins the system goes and invites somebody else. And as somebody else joins, the cycle begins again. The owner receives a portion, the second layer of recruiters receive a portion and the third layer and it grows as such. And this type of investment has the possibility to make good returns only for the owner and the first few line of investors. And as it grows, it tends to become unmanageable. And it only fails when it starts struggling to recruit new investors. And a pyramid scheme on the other side is so similar to a Ponzi scheme, but it's got another layer of a disguise that comes with it. A pyramid scheme will normally have a product, something tangible, something that is being sold. But at the back of the product, there is a multi-layered marketing scheme structured in such a way that as you participate in the program of that product, you get, again, like a Ponzi scheme, go and find new investors or buyers. And once you find new buyers, you get paid. And when they go and find a new buyer, they get paid. And similar to a Ponzi scheme, the owner also gets the cut all high up the pyramid. Now, after having explained those two, let's link them to the world of investments and how do they become a distraction and a confusion to ordinary people and this is not only a problem for people who don't have a financial background it's a problem to both those who know and those who don't and the reason is it often disguises itself as a legitimate investment opportunity let's look at assets that could be uh, used as a tool to lure you into a ponzi um, or a pyramid scheme now this sort of like um, products, if I may call them, it can either be investment in shares, it could be investment in agriculture, it could be an investment in property, investment in, in a fleet of trucks 
all assets um, used in construction. It could be anything that you get promised in the beginning. The only reality of this type of an investment is that the assets actually don't exist. For an example, so-called manager M goes and starts a Ponzi scheme and he purports to be investing in agricultural um, equipment and he promises good returns based on the rentals that will be received from this asset. And once more and more investors join, in their mind, they are buying into a business that has invested in agricultural machinery. And when new investors join, the old investors start receiving returns. And more often, they don't go to the owner and ask, where are the assets? Because once the return starts flowing, the assumption is the returns are coming from rentals from those agricultural machinery or equipment. And as long as the returns are coming in, no one asks questions. But it's only up until when it struggles to gain new investors that we start asking questions. Why are we not getting our returns this month? And the problem with this type of a scheme is that there's, there are legitimate excuses something like we struggle to find a LAC for our equipment. Or we're deciding to invest more into the business, that's why we can't pay you for this month. But in all the cases, it ends up falling apart. Now, in South Africa and in Africa in particular, there's a huge appetite for this high return assets that don't highlight the risks. So let's go through a list on how do you spot a Ponzi or a pyramid scheme. Number one, the owner is not always apparent. When you join these schemes, whoever recruits you recruits you on the base of trust. It could be your uncle, it could be your a family member, it could be a friend, it could be uh, your lecturer, it could be your boss. It's somebody that you trust who recruits you into the system. And the owner does not have to do a lot of work. The second thing that you can spot um, this type of an investment is that it hardly ever has a registered business address. And if it has, the business address will normally be a year, six months, or a month from now. It won't be as old as the business purported to be. So for an example, one, if it starts on the 10th of December, the registered address will probably be registered either on the 9th or on the 8th of December. Another th thing is that it will hardly ever have a premises to operate from. Although in their documents there is uh, an address for a premises, when you go there you will normally find a stadium or you will find a hair salon or you will find it's a supermarket. Because they only need that address to lure investors. The third thing is the returns are enormously high. Any investments that promise you 30, 40 to 80 percent returns in a period of 30 days or so, or even in a week, that's another sign that you might be investing into a Ponzi or a pyramid scheme. Another thing is the rushed investing. Whoever is selling a Ponzi scheme to you has to make you feel like this is the most special opportunity that will only last once. And if you miss it this time, you will miss the high returns. Traditional investment methods, they do not operate like that. If you are to buy shares either on a BEE scheme, an, empl an employee scheme, or either directly from the JSC, or from one of the platforms that we spoke about in our previous video, there will always either be a period at which new shares can be subscribed to without duress or hush or hush, and you can invest in that time. But Ponzi and pyramid schemes, it's always an opportunity that you must act on today or you lose out. The last indicator that you might be investing in a Ponzi scheme is that it grows through a network. 
it hardly ever found advertised either on popular um, financial mails and financial publications or on on billboards like you know on your airport everywhere else where you get to see a reputable financial services company that ponzi scheme will most likely not be there because the main effort is to hide the identity of the owner to an extent that when things go wrong they disappear so i'd like to appeal to all of us that as we pursue high returns let's not get into any investment that disguises the high risk behind it this is Wilson Matozi from Epic Financial Solutions please join us for more videos explaining how you can invest wisely please if you like the video please subscribe to our channel and click the notification bell so that you can be notified when we release our next video next week thank you